Did you know that the ecosystems that occupy the most surface on Earth are aquatic? In this The Daily Eagle video, we're going to explain the characteristics, types that exist, and we'll talk about the flora and fauna. Let's dive right in. Characteristics of Aquatic Ecosystems These ecosystems are environments composed mainly of water and the biodiversity of flora and fauna and other organisms that are in said environment. Its main characteristics are the following. They provide the living space to an unimaginable number of species, both those that can only live in water and those that inhabit both water and land or sky. They are one of the richest ecosystems in the world as they have a great biodiversity. Its flora is made up of algae and aquatic plants. They have vital functions for the planet, such as helping to regulate the water cycle throughout the planet, shaping the environment of a great variety of species that otherwise would not exist, and also acts as a filter for pollution. Types of Aquatic Ecosystems These ecosystems can be divided into two large groups, marine and freshwater ecosystems. In addition, these types of ecosystems can also be classified into lotic ecosystems if the water is in motion or lentic ecosystems if it is still or with little movement. Marine or saltwater aquatic ecosystems Marine ecosystems are those with high level of salt, found in areas between continents and surrounding islands. These represent 70% of the Earth's surface and 99% of its volume. We're talking about salty waters, such as seas and oceans. At abysmal distances, most of the ecosystems are unknown. Still, it can be argued that coastal areas are more populated than the inhospital seabed. This, in large part, is because the food chain begins with plankton and it needs sunlight to grow. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. Of all the water on the planet, what percentage is fresh water? A. 2.5% B. 5% or C. 7.5% Think about it because at the end of the video, you'll find out if you're right. Freshwater Aquatic Ecosystems Freshwater ecosystems are found in places where we find waters that are low in salt, such as rivers, groundwaters, ponds, swamps, and lakes. Unlike the marine ecosystem, its depth and diversity of fauna and flora is less, although it's still very rich. Various factors such as the weather and the relief determine the characteristics of the habitat. For example, the flora and fauna of a shallow lake in a northern mountain will be very different and incompatible with that of a shallow warm water lake in a tropical climate zone. The ideal conditions are created in each ecosystem for these life forms to flourish. Flora of Aquatic Ecosystems Regarding the flora of aquatic ecosystems, we can say that there are mainly aquatic plants and algae, both in fresh, brackish, and salty waters. Some examples are water hyacinth, water lily, reeds, water lettuce, diatoms, and dinoflagellates. Fauna of aquatic ecosystems In water ecosystems, we can find an endless variety of animals from fish to amphibians and marine and freshwater mammals to some aquatic birds and some reptiles that spend a good part of their life in the water, very close to it on the shore or flying around it. Some examples are sharks, whales, dolphins, starfish, crayfish, seagulls, swans, frogs, and turtles. And going back to the question we had asked you before, have you thought about it? The correct answer is A. It is estimated that fresh water is only 2.5% of the total water on the planet. The remaining 97.5% is salt water. In addition of this small percentage of fresh water, it is estimated that around 1% is drinking water for us. So tell us. Did you know all the types of aquatic ecosystems? We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.